Hey everybody and welcome to See Our RV. Today I am going to talk a little bit about me and one of my medical conditions and we're going to go see if we can find a solution to one of the storage problems that I have discovered that um, I need to put a, make a fix to. Um, first of all, I had a really, really bad day yesterday. I have a condition called chronic idiopathic urticaria, which is a fancy way to say that I have hives, and they don't know why. Um, sometimes they are debilitating. People just don't realize the extent of what this condition and how it can leave you feeling. Um, they're painful, they itch, they burn, you have these swollen up places. Sometimes I get them on the bottom of my feet where I, it's so bad that I can't even walk. It feels like you're walking on marbles. Um, yesterday my left eye was swollen so that I couldn't even open it. Um, so yesterday was not a good day for me. Uh, I spent most of the day sleeping, so that explains a little bit about what's going on with the RV today, because it's a little bit of a mess right now. Um, but my big mess is my clothes storage. Uh, I, I went from having a house where I had nearly 4,000 square feet to a 250 square foot RV. My closet was the size of a bedroom. And so I pared down a lot of clothes when I moved into the RV. But now I have found that it's just, even though I have pared it down significantly, I just don't have the kind of space that I really need so, I'm going to show you what it looks like now, and then I'm going to show you what it looks like after I think I have found a solution. So, I'm going to look for some storage cubes, and I'm going to try putting some of the clothes in that in the cabinets above the bed. Here, I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, here we are in my bedroom, and... This is the mess that I'm talking about. There are shirts everywhere. I can't find anything. If I want something in the back, I have to dig everything out. Same thing on this side. There's some pants. There's shirts in the back. They're just, everything is just kind of wadded up and thrown in there, and I don't like it. And I think y'all might remember me saying before that if I bought, brought one more basket into this house, my husband might kill me. Well, my husband is just going to have to kill me because there are more baskets coming, folks. So, stay tuned and we'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. Y'all have a great afternoon. Hang on. Okay, everybody, I'm back. And I have been to Walmart, I've been to Dollar General, and I have been to Dollar Tree. So, the first stop was Walmart. I looked around, they didn't have anything that I really just fell in love with. Uh, the storage cubes, they didn't have any at all. I did find some wicker baskets that were kind of cute. They were in their Christmas displays. But the more I looked at them, the more I thought, you know, I'm going to wind up with clothes that have picks and holes in them because the wicker is going to grab it eventually and snag something. So I decided against that. Then I went to Dollar General and I looked at what they had and it was a little on the expensive side. And they were kind of small for what I was really wanting them to, to do. So I decided against that and I wound up going to Dollar Tree. And that is where I found my final solution. Or at least I hope it's my final solution. I'm going to show you what I've done. And we're going to cross our fingers and hope that this works out in the long run. Because I can now see everything that I have that's clean and available to wear. So hang on one second and I'll show you what we've done. 
Okay, here we are, and ta-da! I found these big baskets. They're probably 18 inches long and about maybe three and a half, four inches high. And I have folded my shirts up in there so I can tell what's what. And I can pull them out and see everything that's available. And get to everything, reach everything. I am very happy with my new little solution. And I'm going to turn right here. I want to say thank you for uh, subscribing to my channel. And I hope that uh, you enjoy the video. And come back and see me next time on CRR.